A few weeks after that dust up at the OK Corral, I was still after Johnny Ringo. I had tracked him and the cowboys to their hideout at a saw. And they were loaded for bear. So what exactly did Johnny Ringo do to piss you off? Well, him and that other bastard. Roscoe Bob Bright? Yep. They both deserve to die, and I promise I'll tell you why. Herb's coming! Get ready, boys. But first, I need to tell you about the cowboy's new boss, Curly Bill Brooks. Curly Bill took charge of the cowboys upon the old man's demise, and after that gunfight at the OK Corral, the Clantons wanted revenge. Previously wounded his older brother Virgil. That ain't her Wyatt and Doc went on what became known as the Vendetta Ride, hunting those outlaws down. So when I showed up, that's who they thought I was. identified each other, and I was beginning to wish I had one myself. But I wasn't about to let Ringo walk away unscathed, and that's what drove me forward. They say that Ringo was extremely fast. I hardly saw anyone faster, boy. Certainly not Wyatt Earp. That man was all hat and no cap. Herb wasn't much of a match for him, but Doc Holliday was not taking it. That longer should have kept his nose out of it. He never charged anyone for the murder of Morgan Herb. But everybody knew that Curly shot him in the back. That was common knowledge. Yeah, maybe so. But Ringo had nothing to do with it. He was just being loyal to a friend. Is that what you call it? Being loyal. Well, to get to that loyal friend, I had to pass by some buzz saws as big as a man. Excuse me, sir. I have a question. What's that, Dwight? After old man Clanton died, why didn't his son take over the cowboys? Because I, Clanton, was dumber than a box of rocks and a yellow belly to boot. Where was I? Taking down the entire cowboy gang single-handed. Indeed I was, Jack. Boys had good cover. 